is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. Dane County leaders are continuing to ease restrictions on gatherings under a new public health order. Emergency order number 14 goes into effect on March 11th. That is next Thursday and is set to expire on April 7th. We hope that even with these changes, we can maintain and improve upon our progress while we work to reclaim our pre-pandemic vibrancy in Dane County. The updated indoor gathering limits are once again dependent on whether refreshments will be provided. 150 people are allowed if food and drinks are being served or up to 350 people if they are not being offered. For outdoor gatherings, the limit is capped at 500 people as long as people are able to maintain six feet of physical distancing. The new order also impacts schools, sports, gyms, salons, and face coverings. We have a breakdown of each specific topic on our website, channel3000.com. Under this order, restaurants will also be able to serve up to 50% of approved seating capacity, and bars will also be allowed to offer up to 25%. Madeline O'Neill live downtown talking with local business owners and what this means going forward. Maddie? Well, we know running parallel to the public health crisis is an economic crisis. Local chambers of commerce did a survey with businesses showing that about 60% of places like restaurants and bars had a big revenue loss because of the pandemic, with many facing potential closure if nothing changed. In a place that thrives when filled to capacity. Scotty Bar, generally a huge place for events, whether it's the state basketball tournaments, Badger football games. Keeping it to 25% has left a void. It's been tough to have to turn away business. It's been tough for all restaurants and bars, especially those that are no longer open to anyone. Seeing those places have to shut down was, um, yeah, was, was hard to see. So Scotty Bar General Manager Lucas Simon Wambach was happy to see some good news. We were definitely excited. While Scotty Bar is putting a new focus on food during the pandemic. It's huge for, um, I mean, those places that don't have a kitchen at all. What today says and signals very clearly is there is hope. For bars and restaurants full of uncertainty rather than customers. Zach Brandon, president of the Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce, says this is a sign of progress. And we just need people to see that hope to set the fear aside, to have confidence in, in our public health officials, to have confidence in our economy, and to go out and safely enjoy the things that we love about this community. Safely being the operative word. One of the most pro-business things you can do today, other than spending your dollars with these local businesses, is to wear a mask. I want to make sure people know it's not like things are going to be wide open. It's not a free-for-all by any means as restaurants and bars get a little less empty. That'll be nice being able to, to let those people in and, and fill up those tables and chairs. Some hope is creeping in too. Exciting news that we're getting back closer to, closer to normal. The Greater Chamber, um, or excuse me, the Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce is doing another survey with businesses, hoping to gauge some optimism from this latest news. Those results should be out within the next few weeks. All right, Maddie, thank you. And Rock County also entering phase two of its reopening plan. In a press release today, the county says the most significant change when moving to phase two is the shift from 25% up to 50% capacity in facilities and areas that have a formal capacity limit, but capacity limits may still be lower based on the ability to maintain social distancing measures. A big development today on the vaccine production front. President Joe Biden says drug maker Merck and Company will now help make rival Johnson & Johnson's single shot vaccine. With that, the ability to vaccinate more people will dramatically improve. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. President Biden says about three weeks ago, the country was on track to have the capacity, the capability to vaccinate everyone by the end of July. But with the new development, that is now expected to happen about two months sooner. More than 26,000 people in Wisconsin received a dose of the vaccine over the last 24 hours. In total now, about 8.7% of the state's population has been fully vaccinated. As for new cases, there were 324 reported today, as well as 28 deaths. Teachers in Wanaki 
Wanakee are receiving their first dose of the COVID-19 shot. That happened today. This morning, SSM Health and the Wanakee Community School District opened an on-site vaccination clinic. Wanakee teachers have been doing a hybrid model of instruction with a mix of in-person and virtual classes since the end of January. SSM Health also plans to vaccinate Sun Prairie School staff, and that will start on Friday. Yesterday, it was announced about 47,000 doses of the newly approved Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be arriving in Wisconsin next week. Well, today, the State Department of Health Services says those doses will be focused specifically on our educators, and it may be some time until the state gets a second shipment from Johnson & Johnson. What we have been told about j, &J supply is we'll get this initial um, 47, 48,000 doses, and then we're not likely to see very much supply for the next few weeks. Um, and more likely by the end of March to start seeing a regular supply of vaccine. DHS officials say Wisconsin is among the top states in the country when it comes to percentage of allotted doses that are administered. National average 78%, Wisconsin is at 93%. Nearly 4,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccine will be distributed to pick and save and metro market locations in Wisconsin this week. DHS announced today that the Kroger owned stores are joining Walgreens as participants under a federal program to get the vaccine into underserved areas. Anyone currently eligible for the vaccine can schedule an appointment through Kroger's website. The CDC is finalizing new guidance for people who have been fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. A spokesperson says the agency will release that guidance later this week. It will reportedly include a recommendation that people who have been vaccinated limit social interactions to small home gatherings. Additionally, there will be a recommendation that people keep wearing masks in public and social distancing once fully vaccinated. There will also be guidance for what to consider when planning travel. Texas Governor Greg Abbott today issuing an executive order lifting that state's mask mandate. The order also increases capacity for all businesses and facilities in the state to 100%. Governor Abbott said the state now has what it needs to protect against coronavirus. Effective next Wednesday, all businesses of any type are allowed to open 100%. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Well, a little while later, the governor of Mississippi issued the same executive order. Both of these announcements come just a day after the CDC director warned states not to let their guard down on the coronavirus threat. Turning things over to weather now. More melting today across southern Wisconsin. Things will be warming up as the week goes on as well. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the backyard patio. He has our first warm forecast. Yeah, temperatures are still above freezing right now, and it actually feels pretty nice. Now, we will have a weak cold front come through later on tonight, and that will drop temperatures a bit over the next couple of days. But still, we're looking at uh, above normal temperatures for the next few days and then warmer weather as we head toward the end of the weekend. The time lapse in the WISC sky cam shows how clear the skies were today. Hardly a cloud to be found. And and that went all the way from sunrise to sunset. As we check out low temperatures this morning, we were in the lower teens here in Madison, at 12 degrees. To the north, there were a few places that dropped below the 10 degree mark, but high temperatures today were actually warmer to the north and west. La Crosse is at 45, Black River Falls, usually one of the colder spots at 47, while Madison topped out at 38 and, and Janesville hit 39. But you can see right now, we're still at our high for the day in Madison. Janesville's dropped to 37. Temperatures are above freezing through most of southern Wisconsin except down in the Wisconsin River Valley. By morning, we'll drop into the middle 20s. Look for partly sunny to mostly sunny skies tomorrow. High temperature topping out at 42 degrees, and it looks like 50s are in the forecast. By early next week, we'll have more details and weather in a few minutes. New tonight, the Beloit Police Department is looking for the public's help in solving a recent burglary. The department posted a video of the incident on Facebook. Officers say it happened Monday afternoon on Madison Road. The video shows three people going into a home while a fourth person is posing as a construction surveyor, distracting the victim. Anyone with information about the burglary or the people who may be involved in this, you're being asked to contact the Beloit Police Department. And we have the entire video posted on channel3000.com. The Southern California Highway was the scene of a gruesome early morning crash. A tractor trailer slammed into an SUV that was filled with more than two dozen people. Tonight, at least 13 are dead, several others clinging to life. Officials from the NTSB are heading to Imperial County, California to join this investigation. Shortly after 6 a.m. on a highway near the Mexican border, a big rig hauling gravel collided with an SUV somehow packed with 25 people. 
The vehicle, a 1998 Ford Expedition, normally seats just eight. Investigators say it's unclear where the victims were going or even where they had come from. A 26-year-old sailor also killed today. Five fellow Navy personnel were hurt in a freeway pileup involving a convoy of military trucks in the northern part of San Diego County. That convoy heading south on Interstate 5 when at least one of the five vehicles suddenly slowed for unknown reasons, causing that chain reaction. California Highway Patrol says one of the drivers was pronounced dead at the scene of that accident. A controversial set of bills introduced at the Capitol today that, if passed, would ban transgender girls and women from participating in female sports. These two bills are called the Protecting Women in Sports Act. Representative Barbara Dietrich introduced those today, and they would not allow transgender girls and women to compete in female sports, both in grades K through 12 and at the collegiate level. Instead, the bill's author says transgender girls would play in a third category for mixed genders. And honestly, you'll ruin women's sports forever. Why would you compete if you knew you couldn't win? What kind of message is that for our young women leaders? In contrast, people protesting these bills outside of the Capitol today are wondering what message these bills are sending to transgender youth. Well, the governor put out a simple message in response to these bills. In a tweet, he wrote, My message to Wisconsin's transgender kids and students today is simple. I see you. You are welcome. You are wanted and you belong. New tonight, the U.S. Senate has overwhelmingly voted to confirm Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo as the new Secretary of Commerce. Today's vote, 84 to 15. She is Rhode Island's first female governor and has held the position since 2015. As the new Commerce Secretary, Raimondo faces the task of promoting job creation and economic growth across the country in the wake of the pandemic. And developing tonight, President Biden's pick to head the Office of Management and Budget near a Tandon has withdrawn her nomination. It comes after she faced opposition from both key Democrats and Republican senators for her her controversial tweets or withdrawal marks the first high-profile defeat of one of President Biden's nominees. Still ahead of 10, why a handful of classic Dr. Seuss books will no longer be produced. And we'll check out a new mural being painted at a local elementary school. Stay with us. High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. Elevate your curb appeal and protect your home with Atlas Roofing from Menards. The roof is easily one of the most overlooked features of any home, even though it is one of the most important. Built with beauty and durability in mind, Castlebrook shingles will add great value to your home while protecting it for years to come. All Castlebrook shingles, now $19.99 after 11% rebate. Save 11% on everything, now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. What does it mean to fight for what's right? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. That's not bacon. It's sausage. Whoa. Behold, Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Sausage that looks and cooks like bacon. It's a meaty miracle. Find them in the bacon section, even though they're sausage. You may not know them. The coffee shop owner who knows your order. The couple who saves your seats. The family down the street who greets you with a smile. They've been there for you. Now you can be there for them. Donate today and help our friends and neighbors keep their power on. Step one, build a new breed, make it an SUV. Send it off-road, send it to Baja. Then evolve, enhance, expand, make it capable, smart, human. And then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it. And the only way to build it is Ford Proud. Choose FlexBuy and get a 2020 Escape with 0% financing for 66 months. Plus 3,500 cash back. Only at your local Ford dealer. Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. 
Wednesday morning, how the pandemic is shaking up the wedding industry. And we'll pour glass and take you to a local winery that's getting ready for a big expansion. Join us from 4.30 to 7 for News 3 Now This Morning. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. Students at Westside Elementary School in Sun Prairie are painting a mural with a message. The students are working with one of the artists who painted 20 of the murals on State Street last summer. Their goal is to promote messages of unity, love, and togetherness. All the kids right now are just, um, they're free to paint anything that they would like. And we are going to unify it at the end to show that we are one family and we all have, um, we all did this together. They're hoping to have this mural done by the end of the week and the school says it plans on keeping this mural permanently to remind students for generations to come of their powerful messages. By the end of the decade, Volvo is planning to be all electric. The automaker says it will no longer sell cars that run on fossil fuels by the year 2030 and that all new electric vehicles will only be sold online to transition into this new structure. Volvo wants 50% of its sales to be electric cars by 2025. The other 50% would be hybrids. That means in just four years, Volvo will have stopped selling cars solely powered by gasoline or diesel. A lot of shoppers have turned to Target during the pandemic. Today, the retail chain reported it saw record sales growth in 2020. Sales jumped nearly 20% last year to more than $93.5 billion. Digital sales were particularly good for the company. They saw 145% boost in that area, which includes home deliveries and in-store pickup. Target states the growth during last year alone was larger than its total sales growth over the past 11 11 years combined. Six Dr. Seuss books are on their way to becoming rarities. Dr. Seuss Enterprises announced it will no longer sell the books because they, quote, portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. That statement was released today, which is Dr. Seuss's birthday. The affected books include, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, if I ran the zoo, McElligott's pool, on Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, and The Cat's Quizzer. The company says it worked with a panel of experts to reach the decision. And we turn now to our forecast. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Well, skies are still clear out there and temperatures are on the mild side. We have a weak cold front coming through tonight that will keep our temperatures from getting too mild over the next couple of days. But we will see temperatures take off as we head toward the end of the weekend and the early part of next week. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for above normal temperatures, even though they won't be uh, really warm, uh, probably in the lower 40s and upper 30s for the next couple of days. But 50 degree plus high temperatures are expected by early next week week, perhaps as early as Sunday, but certainly Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are in line for that. Dry weather is expected through the weekend. There might be a slight chance for a shower Sunday night or Monday, but the better chances for showers will probably hold off for the second half of next week. And then we could get into a more active weather pattern with a couple of storm systems giving us a chance for mainly rain and maybe even some thunderstorms. The snow depth continues to shrink. Uh, it's primarily confined to Wisconsin, Minnesota, and northern Iowa. Much of the rest of the surrounding states, actually the northern half of Michigan as well, but just about everybody else to our south and to our our west has little or no snow cover and that's reflected again in the high temperatures where there was little or no snow cover temperatures were well into the 50s 60s even a 71 degree reading in hill city kansas whereas over the snow cover temperatures are still mild but upper 30s and lower to middle and upper 40s were more the rule where we live on weather track the jet stream has really flattened out across the country that's bringing the mild pacific air in and changing the the overall uh, dynamic of what's going on remember a, a couple of weeks ago we were just so bitterly cold Cold, with the winds coming right out of Canada. Well, now the jet stream has dipped in the western part of the country. That's where the stormy weather will be over the next couple of days. And much of the rest of the country will be quiet with a general warming trend. As we check out the surface weather map, there is a weak cold front to the north. But again, with that jet stream running from west to east, that cold front doesn't have much of a push behind it. So most of the cold air stays up in Canada. Temperatures are just a little cooler behind that front. Notice temperatures there drop into the upper 20s. But ahead of the front, they're mainly in the 30s, still upper 30s here in Madison were as warm as we've been all day and as we check out the temperature change over the last 24 hours you can see parts of uh, the UP of Michigan northern Wisconsin seeing a jump in 30 degrees in temperatures compared to this time last night but again uh, we're not going to see that trend for tomorrow with temperatures very similar to what we saw today as we check out future track 
the uh, skies that are clear will start to turn partly cloudy overnight. We'll see partly cloudy skies tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 40s. Tomorrow night, look for low temperatures to drop in the lower 20s. There might even be some patchy areas of fog. And then on Thursday, we're back to more sunshine. Temperatures might be just a degree or two colder, topping out in the upper 30s. But after that, we see those temperatures go right back up again. So look for a high tomorrow, 42 with partly sunny skies. And then we're down to 39 on Thursday, but up to 40 on Friday, 42 Saturday. Sunday, we could be close to 50 with partly sunny skies and a brisk southerly wind. Could be a slight chance for a shower Sunday night into Monday morning. And then highs generally in the lower 50s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Some showers develop late Tuesday into Tuesday nights. Maybe even some thunderstorms on Wednesday. Those showers land early on Thursday. And then the next storm system starts bringing showers back late in the day on Friday. But a little taste of springtime in there uh, compared to what we've seen recently. We are certainly inching in that direction. Gary, thank you. Just ahead in sports, new Packers defensive coordinator Joe Barry officially in introduced today why well, he says he has learned from his past in Detroit and Washington. Zach has sports next. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When Old Man Winter brings you a plumbing emergency, call RHD for help. Reliable, honest, dedicated. With 24-7 emergency service for your home or business. RHD Plumbing. in my family's supper clubs. This is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about families coming together. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Hurry in, because right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a spacious new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving, which comes in handy, no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Ensure carefully, dream fearlessly. At U.S. Cellular, we believe everyone deserves 5G. So we're building our powerful 5G network for the millions of Americans who live outside of New York and L.A., like teachers in Madison and small business owners in Rockford. That's why we've included 5G on all plans, no extra charge for everyone, whether you're working or playing. All U.S. Cellular plans include 5G, no extra charge. Get the new Samsung Galaxy S21 5G free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. When old man winter brings you a plumbing emergency, call RHD for help. Reliable, honest, dedicated. With 24-7 emergency service for your home or business. RHD Plumbing. There was a different vibe after Wisconsin's loss to Illinois. The Badgers were proud of their fight and effort, but noted they need to do it the entire game, not the final two minutes and change. So you'd think they'd come out firing against the Boilermakers tonight. Well, at Mackey Arena, UW is 4-41 and all-time. Odds not in their favor, and neither was the score. Down four with three minutes to go. Brad Davison 
dials one up from deep to make it a one-point game, but the Badgers wouldn't get any closer. Demetri Trice looking for some late-game magic. His three is blocked. UW falls 73-69. to For the first time since 2012, the DeForest ba basketball team is back at the state tournament, and this year might be even more special. It's the second time in school history, and it's been nine years in the making for this group. For the force to get to this point. Uh, it's a dream come true, honestly. Like, it's crazy. Like, this is our last year. It's like, what a way to go out. You have to start from the beginning. Well, everybody has a goal to go stay tournament for the year. But not of this season. Ah! For this group. Gotta stay wide, can't run down the middle. That dream started on March 10th, 2012. Yeah. boy, Josh, all day. I don't know how old I was, but I remember going to the game in Janesville, Craig. Yeah, we were sitting courtside, me and all my friends. Most of the guys on this team were sitting there. And saw the shot. That made Norsky history. I remember when Brett Minnick hit that shot. I remember running on the court with all my little friends. Yeah, that was awesome. That was just crazy. It was just a great feeling to be there. And then, yeah, I've wanted to make it here ever since I was a little kid. Go get it, A. Go get it, buddy. Those little kids are grown now. We knew we could be something special this year, and we proved that these last couple games, and we're hoping to prove that at state, too. And have turned that state dream it, fellas. into a reality. You know, you have to put in some real hard work, and, uh, you know, you have to really kind of dream, and, and, and then, you know, if it works out, you have to get a little lucky along the way and, you know, and achieve your dreams. So it, it, it's been pretty neat. Bucks with a late tip tonight, taking on the Nuggets, and Denver took it to Milwaukee. This one just wrapped up. Bucks fall 128 to 97. After Jim Leonard told Matt LaFleur thanks but no thanks, the Packers head coach hired a former co-worker in Joe Barry. And Packer Nation went, who? Well, after a quick Google search of his name, you learned that Barry was the defensive coordinator for two seasons in Detroit and two in Washington. And in those four seasons, his defenses were really bad. But Barry says he's learned from it and is better because of those experiences. When you do experience those lows, when you do get those scars, shoot, if you learn from it and, and you grow from it and you expand, then, you know, you, you, don't, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to wear sleeves and cover them up. You know, you can wear them and say, hey, yeah, that, 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 was, a, that was a tough experience. That was brutal. That one hurt, you know. But I learned from it. I got better. Uh, I grew. And the Big Ten named Cole Caulfield their first star of the week after his performance against Ohio State. The Badger forward tallied his second hat trick of the season and, his two and had two assists in UW's sweep over the Buckeyes. The award is his fourth of the year. We're back after this. Two tonight, 21 for the year. It's 2-0. If you've been injured in a truck crash, call Gruber Law Offices. Trucking law can be extremely complicated. There are specific rules and regulations that apply, and we know what it takes to win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Oh, it's cold outside, but you can warm up your winter with a sweet deal from Madison Magazine. Get a two-year subscription for only $19.95, and we'll send you a free limited edition Oak mug, a $5 gift card, and gourmet hot cocoa from Madison's own Infusion Chocolates. But hurry, this offer ends soon. Go to madisonmagazine.com and enter OPE21 to receive this amazing deal today. Only from Madison Magazine. If Physicians Mutual were a friend of yours, we'd be like Eddie here, loyal, dependable, and always there for you. We'd be the one you'd talk to about retirement, the complexities of Medicare, and the coverage you'd need. We'd listen and give you straightforward answers. Think of us as your devoted retirement friend. Mm. At Physicians Mutual, we'll help you find the coverage you need so you can have the retirement you deserve. Oh, good boy. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Maintenance fee, ATM fee. Can I hide in your fort? Sure, but the fort fee is 10 cookies. Psst. Need a place to hide from fees? With a BMO Harris Smart Advantage account, you can get cash with nearly as many fee-free ATMs in the U.S. as the three largest banks combined. And no monthly maintenance fee. Huh, do you hear that? No monthly maintenance fee. Fort fees are subject to the governing bodies of the fort. She did not learn that from me. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. And right now, get a $200 bonus when you open a new BMO Harris Smart Advantage account. Love, 
lower than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Step one, build a new breed. Make it an SUV. Send it off-road. Send it to Baja. Then evolve, enhance, expand. Make it capable, smart, human. And then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it. And the only way to build it is Ford Proud. Choose FlexBuy and get a 2020 Escape with 0% financing for 66 months. Plus 3500 cash back. Only at your local Ford dealer. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Call us today for a free consultation. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. Download the Channel 3000 First Born Weather app today. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, Gatorade wants you to drink more of its beverage, of course, and now one of its new products can tell you how to do it most efficiently. I'm not sure most economically, though. This is the GX Sweat Patch. This sticker, it goes on your inner arm before a workout. That's where it measures how much sweat you produce. There it is right there. Gatorade's app then tells you how much fluid and sodium you've lost and how much of its sports drink is needed to be consumed to replenish it. Here's the value part. You get two patches for $25, and you can only use them once each. Gary, I think they're going to have to drop the price before you or I use that. Do you got one right here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, temperatures right now are about as warm as they've been all day. Upper 30s here in Madison. They'll drop off to the middle 20s by morning, and highs tomorrow will be around 40. All right, Gary, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, be well, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.